Today, we are getting right into how to build a social media strategy that works for any small business client, even if you are new to their industry. I'll also walk you through setting up a full client questionnaire and other free tools to help out with every step of the way. By the end, you're gonna have a clear system and templates that you can use for each client. Hopefully by the end of this video, I will have earned that subscribe and like button hit from you. Or maybe you could do it right now, save some time. Let's get started. So step one, understanding your new client's business goals and audience. So instead of asking questions one by one, we are going to set up a full client questionnaire in Google Forms. So number one, open Google Forms and create a new form titled Client Onboarding Questionnaire or whatever you want to name it. Number two, add key sections and questions. So you're going to want business overview. What products or services do you offer? What is your main revenue source? Who are your main competitors? You want social media goals. What is your primary goal for social media? For example, brand awareness or sales. Which metrics matter most to you? What do you need to know? Now you've got your target audience. Who is your target audience? What problems or needs do they have? Which social platforms do they prefer? You might be able to help them out with this if they're not particularly sure. Now you've got brand identity. Describe your brand's tone in three words. Are there any brands that you admire on social media? Now you wanna share this form with your clients, so click send to share it with them. They're then gonna be able to fill it in and you're gonna get a clean summary of their responses. Having all this info in one place will save you time and make sure you're clear on their business goals so we're not gonna go astray here. Now let's talk about analyzing their target audience. So now that you've gathered their initial thoughts about their audience, let's create a full persona to make sure that we are targeting the right people. So review the audience details in the form, look at the age range, the interests, and the platforms that your client might have mentioned. So refine the audience. If you really need a deeper demographic breakdown, you can use ChatGPT to fill in the common behaviors, interests, and the likely spending habits connected to what your client has prepared. Now you're gonna to wanna to create a customer persona profile in Canva. You can use Canva, it's amazing, to create a simple audience persona for your client. So include age range, interests, challenges, and preferred platforms. You'll find there's loads of templates on Canva that already have this all set up. This click-through guide will be a really great reference for you and your client as you build the content plan. Knowing your audience really helps ensure that your strategy and content are on point. So let's turn this knowledge into a content plan that is both manageable and impactful. So we are gonna create a content calendar in Airtable. Head on over there. If you haven't used it, it's really user-friendly. Open up an Airtable and create a new base with fields for post date, platform, content type, topic, and call to action. Airtable makes it really easy to organize and see your content schedule at a glance. Now we're gonna hop on over to ChatGPT, my new best friend, and we're gonna generate some content ideas. So based on your client's goals and target audience, use ChatGPT to brainstorm some ideas. For example, for a local fitness studio, ChatGPT could suggest workout tips, client testimonials or health articles. Now we need to decide your posting frequency and platforms. So based on your target audience's preferred platforms, you can choose how often to post on each of them. If they are active on Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn, you might aim for maybe two to three posts per platform each week. With this content calendar, you have a roadmap that keeps everything organized and lets you share it with the client for quick feedback. So why likes and comments are great, they are not everything. Let's focus on the metrics that actually align with your client's business objectives. So we're gonna review the goals in the Google Form responses. We're gonna go back to their primary and secondary social media goals and make sure that these connect to their business objectives. We're gonna set key performance indicators, KPIs, and choose them based on what matters most to the client. So we're gonna track KPIs with Google Data Studio. It's a really powerful free tool for tracking KPIs. We're gonna connect it to Google Analytics or Social Media Insights to create a live dashboard to, sorry, I'm so excited about this. You can report to your client on real-time data. This helps you focus on meaningful metrics that directly support your client's business goals. Now we're gonna build systems for efficiency and consistency. Because a strategy is only as good as its execution. So let's make sure that you have the systems in place to keep things running smoothly. 
set up a content approval workflow, use Google Drive or Dropbox to create a shared folder where you can upload content drafts. Your client can then leave comments directly on each file, keeping the approval process streamlined and as quick as possible. You're gonna to wanna to schedule posts using Buffer. So if your client doesn't have a scheduling tool, recommend Buffer's free plan, which supports scheduling on several platforms. This is gonna save you time and ensure consistency. And design your templates in Canva so you can create a few reusable Canva templates to keep branding consistent and cut down on design time. Canva's free plan offers plenty of flexibility and you can share templates with the client if they want to make edits themselves or have any comments. These tools are gonna to keep your strategy on track and prevent last minute scrambles for editing. It's gonna save you so much time. Now you have a clear, repeatable way to build social media strategies for any client that comes your way. Drop any questions in the comment section below or let me know what other topics you might like to see. Until next time, keep it simple and strategic. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.